Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make your own GoldenEye watch face in Galaxy Watch Studios. I'll be going over how to create the assets required and some of the programming required in the program itself. So the very first thing you're going to be needing is an actual image to base this off. So I just did a very simple Google search for GoldenEye watch face and this image here works perfectly. So go ahead and save that image, throw it in Photoshop, Make sure you resize the image to 360 pixels by 360. That is the template we're going to be following. Go ahead and copy and paste the image you saved into that 360 by 360 template and resize it to match the proper scale. It may look a little stretched, but it'll look great on the watch. So go ahead and save this as a base image in a new folder somewhere in your project. And speaking of a project, go ahead and create a new one. Call it whatever you like. Now if you go to image, go ahead and open up the golden eye image and this is what it should look like here. If you click on the watch icon in the right side of the screen, you can see how it would look on the watch itself. Now the first thing we're gonna be making here is the health bar. It helps if you have some skill in Photoshop in order to do this. So duplicate the layer and we want, basically wanna isolate the health bar on the left side of this golden eye watch on its own. Delete the background completely. We want this to be transparent. Now that we have this image, we're just going to clean it up a little bit, erase some of the stuff. And we want to create that animation effect where you have low health or no health. If you played GoldenEye, you'll know what it, your health bar should look like when you do have low health versus having full health. So I'm going to be doing this by creating a black blob basically of like blurriness and having that as a layer above the health bar, deleting some stuff around it. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna be loading the selection of the health of the layer below it, going back up, inverting that selection. So it selects everything else, deleting the rest of the blackness. So it looks like this. It's not too difficult to do if you've used Photoshop for a little bit. So this is gonna be the very first frame when you have 0% on your health bar. Go ahead and save this image somewhere on your project. For my purposes, you can always program this however you like. This is going to be your watch face. I'm going to be programming this so that the health bar represents my battery percentage on my watch. So basically, I just press Control alt z in Photoshop to go back a few more steps and bring the black uh, flaw or the black blur back, raise it a little bit so it looks like you have more health, then load the selection of the layer below it, delete the rest of the blob, you know, kind of crop it, then save that image as the next frame. And basically you want to keep doing this over and over, make like 15 frames or so. Um, if you get really advanced, and I might make a tutorial on this later, you could always make the full 100 frames. So once you're done with that, let's, I'm just going to skip ahead here. You want to import all of these into Photoshop by clicking on image and then selecting all of them in that folder. No, no, no need to select anything else, just click OK. And they're going to look like this, quite a mess. Go ahead and go into the timeline, shift select all of the layers that you just imported, which are those images. Click on the square icon in the very top of the screen and that'll align it to the center of your watch, making them perfectly overlaid on top of each other. Next, we wanna create a new timeline. If you watched my previous video, which I'll link in the description below, you'll learn how to use timelines in order to create your own progress bars and basically have some intuition on how to do this. But I'm gonna be, as I said, creating a battery percentage for my health bar. So I'm gonna be selecting that timeline here. Now you wanna select all the layers of those animation frames just by clicking on the bottom, dragging up, right click, hit activate. It'll create a bunch of frames, but we don't want all of the frames active at once. So just select everything there, like drag and select, click hide. Now for every percentage that you want, like I did in the previous video, just right click and hit activate or show. For having almost no health on your watch, you're going to be putting that for like 0% charge or a 0 to 5% charge. Since it's going to be working kind of like a gradient, not going to be too exact. So I'm going to skip ahead because it does take a little while depending on how many frames you have of the animation. So once you're done, you can go on the right side of the screen. There's a battery slider under the watch tab. And if you slide that up and down, you can kind of simulate how it's gonna look on your watch as your battery percent goes up and down during the day. And it looks very good. In my particular case, I overdid it. I did 100 frames exactly. 
Uh, it's not necessary to do that many, of course. So just for simplicity's sake, what I did was I selected all of the layers again, and I right-clicked and I grouped them together, then I renamed it so that I would be better organized. That's a completely optional step. It's just going to help make sense of things later. So now that the health bar is done, we're going to go ahead and do the armor bar, which is going to be the exact same process as the health bar. So I'm going to be skipping through that, just so this video doesn't take too long. Now the very next thing we're going to be doing is creating the cover to go on top of the health bar and the armor bar. So in Photoshop with the main image, I'm going to be deleting the health bar and the armor bar, and I'm only going to be keeping the, the main cover face of the watch. Go ahead and save this as a PNG file somewhere in your project. Then, of course, you're going to click on Image in the left side of the program and select your cover face. Import that. Make sure in the layer below of the program, you want to drag it on top of everything else. It's going to be a cover face covering the other layers, or at least some parts of them. With the watch face on top, we can see as we move the health bar, it looks very nice. And we should be able to program the armor bar as well. At this point in the video, I'm going to be designing the armor bar, but as I said, I'll skip over this because it's exact same process as designing the health bar. Go ahead and make as many frames as you want for the armor bar, and then save them into their own folder. So at this point in the video, I'm going to be adding a little animation to the clock face, like the cover face that we made, because in the video game GoldenEye, usually during a mission, the incomplete symbol on the watch kind of fades in and out periodically. We're going to be replicating that for this clock face by creating a simple like five frame animation for it. So what I did, I opened up the main image for the, the watch face and I cropped out the word incomplete. And I basically put that as its own sort of file on Photoshop. So it's gonna be isolated and it will look like this. Now I'm gonna save this as the first frame in my new animation. So to create the um, the fading out effect, it doesn't actually fade into nothingness. What we could do is just make it match the background. So I've created a new layer by um, pressing Control Shift N for a new layer. And on that new layer, I completely filled it with green, the same green that's in the background of the word incomplete. And I changed its opacity, the layer's opacity, all the way to zero for the first frame. For the subsequent frames, as the word incomplete fades out, you want to increase the opacity of that green on top of the word incomplete. Sounds a little complicating, but basically, you'll see what I mean. The word incomplete is slowly going to fade out into the background by doing this effect. And you want to create roughly five frames of you increasing the opacity up to 100. Once you have as many frames as you would want, the max is roughly 24 for a ma an animation. I recommend you don't put too many frames because we, it doesn't constantly blink. It does show the word incomplete for maybe two seconds and then it fades. So you're going to need a lot of leg room. So now I want you to click on animation inside um, Galaxy Watch Studio and select all of the images for the incomplete animation that we just made. If you get an error that you have to rename a bunch of things, that's because it's labeled as 010203 again. And if you already have the health bar or the armor bar labeled that, you're going to have to rename all of the animation frames for your incomplete animation that we just made. So just add a little letters, a bunch of letters to it, like adding the letter A to it for every single frame. So it doesn't take very long. Give you a little warning there. Just click OK. Select the animation frames. And now if you double click on the layer, you can see that there's only, um, you can see all the frames that you have. But as I said before, the word incomplete in the GoldenEye watch doesn't constantly fade out. What I'm going to do here is select a couple frames in the beginning. I'm just going to hit copy and paste a bunch of times so that it can stay on screen for as long as possible before it fades out. So go ahead and grab the animation of the incomplete, put it over the cover face that we made so that it's in the correct position. And now, assuming the preview is playing, you can see the animation does look very smooth. You can always use the property panel to adjust the position of the animation very so slightly. At this point, you're completely finished creating the golden eye watch. But of course, no watch is finished without adding some kind of time indicator. So in my particular case, you could add an analog if you wish. I'm going to be adding digital time, the 12 hour clock. 
and a lot of other neat little gadgets in order to make my watch feel full. Now, I'm going to be glancing over this part because I'll likely be covering this in another video on how to add every little tiny detail and make it look good on the watch. For the time itself, I'm just going to be changing the color of it to green, making the text bold, and adjusting the format so that it's not 24 hours. So I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll be skipping ahead a little bit. As you can see, by this point, I've added a heart monitor indicator, and at the very top and bottom, I've added step counters and the battery percentage of my watch, in addition to the health bar. But that has been this tutorial on making a GoldenEye watch. I know I glanced over some stuff, so if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Remember to like the video if this helped you out, and subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And of course, thank you for watching.